The San Marcos Springs are a sacred place for the Mia Kingarza band. We swam up through the springs until we arrived at the shores, and that's how the people came to be on Mother Earth. Descendants of the Kawatekan people, the Mia Kingarza trace their roots back thousands of years to this very spot in Hayes County. We call the deer Pamana. A mural in downtown San Marcos pays tribute to their origin story, but today their story is one of conflict. For eight years, the Mia Kingarza have been asking the University of Texas to return the remains of three native people taken from Hayes County. Those ancestors are waiting to return to Mother Earth because of the process we believe in. Elder Maria Rocha explains until the ancestors are reburied, they can't complete their spiritual journey. It's much like when you bury your own family member and you think about their spirit being released and going to that joyful place, whatever it is. Well, what if you understood that our ancestors can't go there? They are suspended and they're waiting. According to ProPublica, the University of Texas has 1,900 Native American remains in their possession. Many at their archaeological laboratory on Breaker Lane in North Austin. They are sitting on shelves in a warehouse, an old beat up warehouse. It's not even a respectful place to put your ancestors. According to UT, they can't be certain the three remains the Mia and Garza are requesting rightfully belong to them. Mario Garza has worked on this process called repatriation for 40 years. The institution that has the remains is the one that determines whether they're going to accept your information or not. And if they don't want to give you the remains, they say no. The senator from Hawaii. Earlier this year, Senator Brian Schatz of Hawaii called out institutions still holding remains, accusing them of failing to comply with the law. The Center for American Archaeology in Illinois, the University of Texas at Austin. Nationwide museums and universities are holding an estimated 97,000 remains and tens of thousands more artifacts. These are the supposedly liberal institutions who have no problem parroting whatever progressive expression is in vogue, and yet at the same time they continue a colonial project against the explicit and repeated wishes of Native people. Others, like Texas State University, have returned remains collected from Hayes County to the Miakin Garza Band. After seeking permission from the ancestors, we brought some people who are going to tell your story. Maria and Mario brought us to the small cemetery where the ancestors returned by Texas State are now buried. Simple gravestones and pink prayer ties left from the tribe's children cover the ground. We all feel very strongly about this and we're going to continue trying to get all the remains of our people. The University of Texas declined multiple interview requests from CBS Austin. In an email, UT says they've worked within the law to return the remains, but quote, found insufficient grounds for repatriation, as well as opposition from two federally recognized tribes. The Mia Kingarza's fight is further complicated because they're only recognized as a tribe by the state of Texas, not the federal government. To be recognized as a as real Indian or a legitimate Indian, the white government has to say that you're an Indian. But because of our different history, there's no original Texas Indians that are federally recognized. UT sought guidance from the federal government, but was directed to put the Mia Kingarza request on hold. Two years later, the Archaeological Research Lab says they don't have authority to transfer the remains without government approval. A frustrating fight that started with anger, but only leaves pain for the Mia Kingarza and the ancestors they believe are suffering. We believe that those spirits are in agony because they're waiting for that balance to be created. A balance they say the earth demands and their ancestors deserve, no matter how many generations it takes. We feel good that not in our lifetime, not in my lifetime, am I going to see all the ancestors released, but our children's children may see that. And we're hoping for that day to come. Melanie Torrey, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.